What's the most annoying thing people respond with when they know they have lost the argument? Excuse me I have a life to get to, but it's just so patronizing and they think that means they've won the argument through that. They say this after they've literally spent the exact same amount of time as you in an argument lol. I knew a kid in high school who, anytime he started losing an argument, would just respond that it doesn't matter because the world's just a figment of your imagination anyway. For some reason he thought that was the automatically win every argument card. Cluck him in the back of the head with a wooden club and then tell him it was just a figment of his imagination. Instead of admitting they were wrong and correct, they turn to insulting the person that they're arguing with. Not only does it make the person look even more ridiculous, it's absolutely cringe. I had that recently when disagreeing with someone about the advice they gave regarding a game. They got increasing annoyed, accusing me being obtuse, just wanting to argue etc. I attempted to apologize because I was genuinely interested in the topic, but they then started insulting me more, saying I was being fake and pompous, or something to that effect. You can't trust everything you read on the internet. I'm pulling up scientific papers here, you're just spouting off some hearsay you got from a friend. Then, the following day, vaccines cause autism. It's true, I saw it on TV. Go ahead, get the last word. We all know how you have to get the last word. Almost always said by people trying to get the last word because they know they've lost the argument. I believe the proper response to that is okay. If we're having an argument with other people around my brother always acts like he's being attacked for being wrong and says he always does this, trying to make me look like the bad guy for pointing out that he's wrong. A personal attack. It drives me crazy when people say stuff like well it's never happened to you so you wouldn't know anything about it. I have also never won a mega millions jackpot but I know that lottery winners are disproportionately targeted for fraud and violence after they win, so yeah, but maybe they're right and I should win one of those just to be sure. Maybe not everyone, maybe just my dad does this, we are not equals, we will never be equals, just the nature that I have done more than you does that, I fathered four children, survived a war, I'm a leader in my community and industry, etc. Etc. I am deserving of the utmost respect from you. There was not even an relevant argument rebuttal. He just didn't like my tone. Gotta love when someone demands you respect them while showing you blatant disrespect. All because they are losing an argument. It's my opinion on my page. If you don't like it, delete me. It's insufferable that folks like these not only believe that opinion equals fact, but also that they don't want to hear anything but praise. It's like they know they're wrong and just trying to smugly squirm out of it. Then change your settings to only post to yourself so that you can ensure it reaches all of the people who think you're amazing. Where is your proof? Then you go through the trouble of googling it for them and send a link. I'm not reading that long butt article. Had a discussion with a classmate who told me nobody was ever on the moon turn out exactly like that. When they ask for proof or sources and then refuse to look at said proof sources provided to them because they're incapable of accepting when their opinions beliefs are wrong. Source. IRS gov. Them. Fake news. You should respect your elders. Frick that. I'll respect people who I have a reason to. The fact you're 55 or 70 doesn't mean you're not a dumbass. I love when people try to pull the age card when the argument has literally nothing to do with age or personal experience. Like, my brother once tried to shut me down in a debate over the definition of two different words by just trying to claim that he knows better because he's older. As if our age difference has any bearing on the dictionary. Arguing a false dichotomy. If you disagree with their point they automatically assume that you agree with the polar opposite or most absurd counterpoint to try to make you look stupid. Don't get baited into defended whatever that other point is because they will just take it as confirmation. The real buttholes will actually stop listening after you've made the first disagreement and go on to tell others that you have that crazy view. It's one of the ways rumors start. 
when they start to search really far in an argument to find something that can be used to win an argument. Like when someone says that a certain police officer is lazy and incompetent for not giving that guy a ticket for parking too long. And then you would say that that it is not a big deal and nobody really cares their argument will search really far with so if your family was murdered you would be okay if a police officer ignores it since he does not really care. I have a friend who sometimes does this when losing an argument. Really annoying. When they slyly conflate your point with something that isn't related so they can say you're wrong which puts you in the position of sounding petty when you try to explain they're being dishonest. Straw man argument. They construct an argument that they then falsely compare to your own so it can be more easily torn down. It's basically a bad analogy. That is so naive. This is often an insulting, condescending way to dismiss basic decency and moral arguments by pretending to be cynical and worldly as some sort of play at sophistication when it's really a cowardly way to avoid taking responsibility for lack of ethics. Yup you're right. No point in saying anything because everyone knows you're right. Don't listen to us. Legit had this told to me when having argument about trying to turn off ULMB on my monitor. Was told it was the free sync in the monitor. That I had to use AMD drivers to turn it off. And the fact it has a 4 millisecond response time. Free sync is a separate thing for the monitor and it's already off. I have NVIDIA GPU so the drivers won't do anything. The mis time doesn't change anything I can tell any difference from my 1 millisecond and 4 milliseconds monitor. The motion blur is listed as its own feature. Yet I am told I am completely wrong and what they told me is how to fix it. I state that it's stupid and the AMD drivers won't affect anything as it won't work with my PC nor does it show up on my drivers so I can turn it off. Apparently I am the butthole cause I don't want to listen to people who know nothing about my problem. Everyone's right. Can we stop arguing? Truth doesn't matter anymore. Let's go back to talking about absolutely nothing. Moving the goalposts. I just got in an argument with my brother last night where he said that people who protest hate speech are infringing on that person's first amendment rights. I tried to explain to him that only the government or state run institutions are capable of infringing on those first amendment rights because the right in question is the right to be free from government censorship. After 20 minutes of trying to get that through to him, his argument predictably changed and he never meant first amendment rights at all and I was arguing in bad faith with him lol. He's young still, so I'll cut him a little slack. Don't he'll think he can do this every time, kick his argument while it's down. Whenever they go all conspiracy theory on you, claiming that they know the truth because they're woke, and any facts and education just mean that you're in on it. I saw this exchange recently. Comma false medical info is true. How would you know? You're not a doctor. Actually, I'm in my fifth year of medical school. Well, that just says it all, doesn't it? When they start insulting your grammar, way of speaking, tone of voice, etc. They can't think of anything else to fight you about so they're reaching for anything to make themselves feel better for being wrong. They just talk over you by repeating the same phrase over and over. Wrong. Wrong. No. No etc. In the hope you just think frick it and walk away and in their mind, they win because they stopped you from talking. Ad hominem. When they start attacking personal characteristics instead of the argument. Oh yeah why should I listen to someone who watch Rick and Morty. LOL loser neck but virgin. Me. Religious parades are a bit of an annoyance. With them setting up altars in people's windows and blasting their amateur singing on a portable public address system. Them. Tips for Dora. Well that's just your opinion or something akin to that. I feel like that's the only answer. I can usually smugly shrug it off because that's an obvious sign they have nothing else to back up their side and you've won. But isn't that the most annoying thing thinking that they're smirking too thinking yeah I totally showed him? Those are the type of arguments I usually try to be the bigger person and just walk away, but still stick with me forever. That's not how you spell annoying. Maybe learn to spell first. Because, clearly, somebody else's argument can be rendered completely invalid if you manage to spot a typo on the internet. Arguing on the internet. Someone will take one sentence of the paragraph you wrote and try to refute it. The thing that I wrote is meant to be taken as a whole. You can't just pick out one sentence and act like you've countered my whole argument. 
I reject your reality and replace it with my own. My older brother used this on me all the time as kids and I hated it so much. Lots of triggered Trumpsters in here. See our politics anytime people try to have somewhat meaningful conversation with evidence brought to the table. And yes it goes for both sides. I just see that one used the most. I had a former friend who used to interrupt you and nope you to death so that you couldn't actually converse with him. He believed he won the argument by wearing you down. When you challenge them to show how or why your statement is wrong they downvote you and move on. Because they don't actually have a counter argument. When you state verifiable fact after verifiable fact and they say well that's your opinion. I don't agree with it. I'm fuckface. It's called facts. They are uncomfortable. But they are not refutable. Or everyone's entitled to their opinion. Yeah but if your opinion is based upon bulls. Then you have a crappy uninformed opinion. That's a very leftist rightist thing to say. Because, apparently, we have to drag political alignment into every debate. On reddit specifically, implying things I never said or making arguments for me. I get people doing that all the time. I constantly have to reiterate my point because the person just doesn't understand where I'm coming from. Eventually I give up about about 3 or 4 posts of saying no. What I'm saying is X, not Y. I do not condone Y and never have, but X is completely fine with me. This is specially awful when discussing matters of opinion. An exaggerated example. Oh you think abortion is okay? So you like to stab babies then right? Should we all stab some babies now? Uh, no you psycho. I just said I was fine with abortion, not the murder of babies. There's a difference between the two. In a similar note, it is super annoying when you admit that you were wrong and the other person smugly rubs it in your face. If someone is mature enough to admit they're wrong, be mature enough to not rub it in. When you start out with opposite points but they gradually change their points to become your point so that you eventually concede with you and they get this satisfied grin like they won the argument but it's only because they came around to your point and can't admit they were wrong. Just randomly tossing out an exactly to your most recent point is a last ditch effort to make it seem that you agreed with them the whole time. Prove IT. Repeated for as long as necessary for me to completely give up trying. One of my friends does this because he knows it pisses people off and it's honestly pretty funny to watch. Not so funny on receiving the end. Well we'll just have to agree to disagree when it comes to facts, not opinions. Someone hit me with that line when I told them that the family case management program used to exist but has been terminated. That's like saying I disagree that horses exist. Okay, it's not really a matter of opinion buddy, we can just go drive out to a farm and look at one. I'm your boss manager supervisor have more rank than you so that automatically means I win. Why are you even trying to argue your point? Absolutely cannot freaking stand anyone who uses their title solely as an I win button. Just because they've been at their job long enough for the toe jam to crust off their feet and coat the floor in a sticky veneer doesn't mean they're instantly right about everything. My brother, an insufferable know-it-all with a fragile ego has a catchphrase when he doesn't want to admit someone else might be right and he doesn't want to admit he might be wrong. He will try and go meter with the argument, saying crap like... The difference between you and me is your book smart, and I'm street smart or other apples and oranges type crap in an attempt dismiss the argument completely. Not to trigger anyone, debated the wage gap and effectively won. At the end the feminist said well your opinion doesn't matter on the topic because you are a man and you don't understand then she said. It's like how white people can't have an opinion on racism because they aren't black. How could anyone lose that argument? There's like academic peer-reviewed studies, when accounting for age, location experience etc, the gender gap doesn't exist. When they have lost and know they lost they resort to childish name calling and call you a mature and bunch of other things. Insults to my age, cause I'm 17. Admittedly doesn't happen that often because I don't get in that many arguments because my life is generally pretty normal. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
bye for now.